On the build show today, we're gonna to be talking about the final and critical step to make sure this foundation is totally waterproof. Now, if you've seen my other videos, you saw that we're on an insulated concrete form job here. And this foundation comes down to a concrete footer and we did all the bulk of the waterproofing with Polywall's home stretch. That was on the last video. But on today's video, I wanna show you the final and very important last step. And that's this right here. We're gonna be installing this dimple mat on top of the waterproofing. Now you've seen dimple mats before. This one has a couple of unique features, but let's talk about why we want a dimple mat. If you look at this, this is a polypropylene. It looks kind of like an egg crate material. And you see these nipples here have a filter fabric on top of them so that when we backfill, what's gonna happen here is the dirt's not gonna be up against the foundation. In fact, we're gonna have an air gap in front of the foundation. That's critical for us for waterproofing. We want the waterproofing to do its duties, but we don't want water sitting up against the foundation. And by putting that dimple mat there, this ensures that we've got an air gap around the entire outside of the foundation, kind of like a rain screen we might use for a siding, so that when we backfill with the dirt, the dirt is held off of the waterproofing. Now this also does double duty. That air gap, of course, is gonna give us a channel to drain that water out and away from the house. It's also gonna do some protection benefits. As we backfill, we need to be really cautious about how we backfill. We don't wanna backfill with big rocks. But even with that, we wanna make sure that nothing is penetrating this critical outside waterproofing. And by putting this Arroyo board on there, we're gonna do that. Now here's where Polywall has set themselves apart from the others. I really like this system. If you look at this, this is their base material, and you'll notice on the back here, there's two different dimple sizes. This bottom dimple appears to be a little over an inch or so of air gap, and that's maybe a, a foot off this base, and then it transitions to a thinner one. Now, most of the time when you see a dimple mat, it's just the thinner one. I really like this because now at the base of the wall where most of the water is gonna accumulate, we've got a bigger channel to run that water off. They also make some really good accessories that are gonna made in here and channel this into our French drain system. Now at this project, we happen to be in a walkout foundation. So in this case, we're gonna be draining everything naturally with gravity out. But if this was a full in-ground foundation, we'd wanna take that Arroyo drain and connect it to the French drain system, which of course is gonna end up in a sump pump, which is the lowest part, typically on the inside of the foundation, where at the bottom of that sump pit, you're gonna have a pump that's operated by a float switch to pump all that water out. In this case, the Arroyo drain is gonna take that water down to the base of the footing and then run it out naturally by gravity. Now, the other cool thing about this system that I really like is this is a no fastener, no penetration system. So in my previous video where you saw us installing this home stretch, you notice this is a peel and stick and we put a primer on and here we are, it's all done. It's totally stuck. Everything's looking beautiful and tight here and there's no penetrations. We want to do the same thing when we install this. We don't want to penetrate it. And here's the system I really like. They've got a spray adhesive. This is called Stay Put Spray Adhesive. It comes in a gallon sized jug with a hose and a spray gun. And just like your, your Formica countertop, what you're gonna do is you're gonna spray that on the wall, and then you're gonna spray it on the back of your Arroyo drain. You're gonna let that set up so it's tacky, and you can tell by touching it how long it takes to tack up. That's gonna vary depending on what the temperature and humidity is outside. But once both those services are tacky, you need a couple guys to do this install because what you wanna do is place it on the wall because once it's stuck, it's gonna stay stuck and we don't wanna rip it off. Here's the other cool thing about the system. This base wall here, which is a, about a two foot panel or so, you'll notice the filter fabric stops here and then the next section of wall that comes up, and that's this taller one, it comes in about a four foot roll. It's got a filter fabric that hangs long. If you can see that filter fabric right there, we're gonna hang long so that when this comes up on the wall like this, we're gonna hang that filter fabric over shingle style. And that way water coming down is gonna stay in that channel. And also that filter fabric hanging over like that is gonna make sure that dirt, anything washing down in the future is not gonna fill this channel up with dirt. It's a really, really nice system. Now we wanna take this above grade or right to grade. So this is all below grade. This doesn't wanna be above grade. And then from there, you're gonna to transition to protecting uh, your foundation materials above grade from UV. Guys, very interesting system. Big thanks to our friends at Polywall for sponsoring these series of ICF videos. Little side note here, Polywall is employee owned and all these products that you're seeing here today from the waterproofing to the Arroyo, 
They're all made outside of Annis, Texas, which is right outside of Dallas. And the last thing I want to mention on this is the name. I don't know if you know any Spanish, but Arroyo means the ditch, the dry ditch. And that's basically what this product is. We want a channel that when the rain comes, it can run through that dry ditch and run right off and out. And that down and out is what's protecting this foundation. So the waterproofing can do its job and we don't have water sitting up against that foundation. For more information on this polywall system, both the waterproofing and this dimple mat that we talked about, the Arroyo Drain, there'll be a link in the description below to get to their website. Guys, hit that subscribe button below. We've got new content every Tuesday and every Friday. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on The Build Show.